Dude, you need to get your ears checked. <laughs> what do you mean, dude? I'm serious, bro. Like, this is sick. Like, bro, I know what I like. I know, I know what I like, dude. Well, okay? you should like this. All right, well, let me let me just hear it again. Okay. Play it again for me. Fine, we'll play it one more time. I mean, it's pretty sick, dude, but this, this one's way better. So much better. It's apples and oranges, bro. Whatever that means. There's apples, there's oranges. That's a pear. Come on, dude. What if we did something a little bit more like this? I mean, that was pretty sick. I like that one more. All right, so we're getting somewhere. Yeah, but I think I got it, dude. Bro, can you imagine? Can you imagine it? Can you see it? That was pretty good. That was pretty sick. <laughs> dude, look, all of these are great. Okay, but we need to come to an agreement. They're all sick though, dude. They're all They're sick. They're all sick. Which They're... one are we gonna use? I don't know. They're all inspiring, but yeah. like maybe we need some more options. If only we had more options. What's going on, everybody? My name's Danny Ferrari. My name's Parker Immense. And dude, we're back. We're f back, dude. We're back, bro. You can't cuss in the beginning of a video. <laughs> oh, no. We just got demonetized. I do what I want, dude. Yeah, you do what you want. That's it. We've been a little busy. Obviously, you guys can see that we got a brand new podcast we just dropped. Mm -hmm. that we're super excited. Look for those every other week on oh, Wednesdays. Oh, we are so excited about the pod. We're so pumped. And another thing that we're super pumped out, I would even say we're a little chubbed up about. You're pumped out. I'm yeah. pumped out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, definitely, I'm definitely chubbed right now. I still got some in the chamber, though. You got a couple pumps? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Drops Only Volume 3 is out now, okay? Okay? And everything that you just saw us do in the beginning of the video is included in the pack. All those sounds that you heard, those are included in Drops Only Volume 3. And we have a ton like that. And my drop was better. Come yeah. on. Let's get Actually, real. Let us let's know in the, real. Let us know in the comments which drop was your favorite. Okay, how about we do that? All right. Put All it right. up, okay? Give One, it to two, the three, or four, right? Yeah. Okay. So guys, you are not going to want to miss this. We are going to actually show you how to do a one-button drop using Drops Only. Okay? Yep. There's a ton of sequences in there. There's a couple couple one shots yep. so we're gonna take a one shot we're gonna turn it into a sequence we're gonna turn it into the best drop ever yep with one button mm -hmm. right i'm also pretty tired of hearing that oh serum can't do this mm. oh phase plan is so much better for sequences mm. and and one button drops uh. what about vinyl yeah <laughs> exactly dude yeah. i'm tired of that i'm tired of it. people say oh you that. can't do this in serum you know what okay listen face plant we're coming around we're working on it okay we're working on ourselves <laughs> we're definitely gonna be doing more vital content and we are gonna be playing around with face plant expect that because i know you guys want to see different stuff besides serum but i do think people like you're saying think that serum is like dead it's, yeah. it doesn't have the capabilities but it's like we're gonna show you some crazy never before techniques right mm -hmm. but before we do that i want to tell you just a little bit more about drops only volume three so you guys know what's in the pack it's got a hundred serum presets right there's no chords there's no arps there's no synths there's just basses hey daniel are there pads in there no get the hell out of here get out of my face all right all right sorry you guys don't get any pads in this one leave yeah get the fuck out of here you're fired you see that i didn't even say it get yeah. the fuck out of here get the they still bleep here. me, though. Yeah. Demonetized, just Demonetized. like that. We're going to give away a pack of Drops Only Volume 3 right now. I just said it. I Bro, you always do this. Yeah, I just You decided. always do this, dude. It's an exciting dude. video. I know. This is a very exciting. I'm down. You're actually. down. Actually. Yeah. Okay. So comment the, the, your favorite drop out of the one, two, three, or four. If you guys comment one of those, we will pick one of you randomly. And then the next video, we will give you a pack. Or probably the week after. Next, next, next We'll video. put the details in the description. Yeah. All right. Check the link in the description for Drops Only Volume 3. Subscribe. Like comment check out the podcast let's get into it bro let's go let's, let's go. do it all right let's show them okay so as you guys heard we kind of made like a little bit of build here little extra long there just like me did you just do an undergun i did do an undergun i saw it an i undergun. saw it 
undergun. Okay, so like we we said before, like a one button drop essentially is what it sounds like. It's one button wow. that you can essentially hit. All of those sounds earlier were one button drops. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the sounds from drops only, and we're gonna go ahead and mess around with it and try to make it into more of a sequence sort of drop. Our goal is to get to four bars. Okay, so I have a sound that I think is cool. We're gonna we're gonna maybe try it with this one. We might try it with another one, and we're gonna try to make that into a whole sequence. We're gonna show you guys how to do that. There's gonna be a lot of cool serum tricks along the way some stuff that we've been figuring out i personally shit. haven't seen any other video go over what we're about to go over all right so right now this this sound is kind of set up to be like kind of more of an envelope so we're going to make it sequence right yeah so the first thing we got to do is is we got to take some stuff off because there's a lot of different things going on with this patch so let's go ahead and clean it up first so let's let's hear it real quick we have this length macro. I'm gonna go ahead and, and turn that off because it's just essentially a one shot because I'm gonna go ahead and wanna mess with that. So I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna turn a sustain up and I'm gonna turn the hold down. Oh, nope. I'm gonna turn the decay up. Fuck me. Turn the hold down and adjust the decay. There you go. <laughs> All right, so now we have a little bit. It's actually essentially doing a, a little bit of a pattern already. I'm going to turn this release down. And I'm also going to turn off the reverb for right now. We're going to come back to that in a minute. Let's just bypass it for now, actually. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so one of the cool things that you can do with Serum that kind of people don't really realize is is taking advantage of the LFOs and the sort of like, we're going to be like doing a little bit of coding here, dude. Mm -hmm. We might be jumping in the Matrix. There might be Neo flying by with a cape, dude. Yeah, there, there might be Neo, the Matrix code. We should wait until we get into it. Okay, And All right. then, then when we're in the Matrix, we'll, we'll let you guys know at home. Obviously, you'll tell because you'll be able to see the Matrix if our editors are doing their job properly. So one cool thing that, like, obviously we can just kind of leave it on a sequence and just kind of go like... <laughs> But we want to go above and beyond that, mm -hmm. right? We want a one push drop. We want a one button drop, right? So we have the one note, right? That's just kind of going straight. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set this to an envelope. Envelope means it doesn't repeat. Exactly. It happens only one time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now what we're going to do is this is on a bunch of stuff, right? This is on the cutoff. This is on the level, right? We're going to go ahead and we're going to make a new LFO. We have a couple things on here that are also happening. <laughs> These are also envelopes. We might jump into these a little bit later, but right now they're just happening once. This is a pitch envelope for the master tune. I'm gonna bypass this for right now. We'll get back into that, okay? Perfect, okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a new LFO, right? Now I want this LFO to start a little bit later, right? Because this is essentially going to be the new shape of the second sound. Because a lot of times drops aren't just one sound. I mean, maybe old school drops like it's one sound and it's like a pattern and you go back and forth. We should just do the rest of the bar, baby. Right, let's do the rest of the bar. Okay, so we can have an actual delay set to this LFO and apply it to some of the parameters that this one is already on to give it like a little bit different shape and a little bit different tone so we could do that either by just starting it a little bit later right because this one's set to a quarter and we can have this one essentially set to the grid because this is like a grid in ableton right yeah if this is 16 this is 16 beats and this is four bars so if this sound happens in a quarter a quarter note right that's essentially would be right here i believe so watch if I do something like this. I'm gonna go ahead, add LFO four to the level knob. And I'm gonna set this to half. So if I go like this, right, I have it essentially starting there, right? Nothing's happening. But instead of doing it that way, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make the actual shape that we want, and then we're going to delay it by a quarter because that first one shot is on the quarter note, right? It's on the downbeat. Right? Okay, cool. So now we're getting somewhere. So now I'm going to want to go ahead and apply this to different, apply it to different envelopes that are happening essentially that this one is kind of doing because I really want it to sound good. So one of the main envelopes I know is I'm going to want it on the cutoff, right? But because this one goes this far with the cutoff, like maybe the second sound doesn't go as far. Maybe it goes to like here. <laughs> Sounds kind of shitty right now. That's because we need more movement over here. So let's go ahead and apply these to here. And let's go ahead and also apply it here. And what's kind of cool, and this is where we're gonna get into sort of like the actual like programming of it. Do you see how this is? 
it's like sort of two two nipples touching together. Two notches, dude. Two little nipple notches just bink, right, right together. Some notchels. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna instead of this being a a nipple notch <coughs> in the first sound, we're gonna jump into the matrix, right? And we're gonna Thank do God. some crazy Yeah, finally, right? <laughs> finally, let's get we're in the matrix. We're gonna talk about ones and zeros right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's so get essentially scientific. an LFO could be an, essentially an on off switch, right? Or a one or zero. That's right. We know about computers. Matrix code better be falling down our head. You said Neo flying through. Serum plus minus. Serum plus minus. C plus plus. Yeah. Seventeen. Yeah, that's that's coding. Yeah. We're coding. We're coders. Right. Micros uh, Minecraft Redstone, same thing. Hackers in the chat. Dude. Yeah, hackers in the chat. I want to. I want to see the code coming down. I want to see Trinity somewhere. I want to see, and I don't want an excuse. Okay, I don't want an excuse saying or like a joke that says, "Oh, I'm not gonna do that." Huh? And she needs to be in leather, dude. Shiny leather, leather, dude. Yeah. You this know, is serious. squeaking around. I want um, what's his name? Agent Smith. Agent Smith should Fucking be in there. Duplicating himself. Force Whitaker. Cloning whatever himself. It's not Force Whitaker. Um. <laughs> I know who you're talking about, too, when you For, said I'll that. Put Forrest Whitaker in yes, there. Yes, put him in there. <laughs> Back into the Matrix. So do you see how this notch is pointed right now? We can essentially have that notch turned down for the second part of the drop. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use this essentially as an on-off switch, okay? To kind of change the sound a little bit. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to match the same sort of delay that this has. This is a quarter note delay, so that this only happens after a quarter note of delay, so it doesn't affect that first sound. And I'm going to apply this to the gain, and I'm going to turn it down. <laughs> I'm gonna have it happen once. See, now it's turned down, right? Do you see how it's kind of happening a little bit quicker? So I actually kind of, I think I have to do it like, like here, actually. Perfect, okay, there now let's go ahead and apply our new LFO to that frequency knob. Perfect. So the delay knob is a super powerful tool, man. That's what yeah. is setting up everything in the sequence, essentially. Yeah. Is it you know? allowing us to start things at certain times, right? The only real thing you need to know is like how to count. Yeah, essentially. You know what right. I'm saying? I mean, even just then, count too, your bars. Even then, too, you can kind of just play with it until you get it right, right? Yeah. Playing with it always helps me, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, I know. I know. All right, so let's go ahead and add a little bit of a sequence. And in order to do this, we're going to go ahead, and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this LFO 6 to 100, okay? We're trying to do four bars, so I'm going to go ahead and start it to four bars right here. This is where it's going to get kind of interesting because we might be adding delay. So I might do this a different route. We're going to see how it goes. So first thing I want to do is I don't need this to move because this is the first one shot i need this to sort of trigger and loop so the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to set this at the slowest possible rate that i want this lfo to go so maybe there mm -hmm. okay so now i'm going to jump into the matrix neo stuff right okay and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to go take lfo 6 and i'm going to apply it to lfo 5 now parker do you want to explain the layout of the matrix because a lot of people got confused get confused yes, with it. Yes, thank you, got you Danny. You got confused with it, too. You when were I first started, minute, dude, yeah. I, was, I was so confused. So the way that I envision the matrix is you're starting on the left and you're going all the way to the right. So it's essentially a mixer. So you got your source on the left side and all the way to the right is your output. So you have all of these things that can happen to your signal on the way to the output. Right. So you got your amount. You got where your source is going. What destination? Is it, is it going back and forth or is it going forward? And then you got your aux source, which is essentially Actually, if you think about it, it's like an insert for yep. Ableton. You know what I'm saying? Same kind of thing. But this, it kind of feels more like an inception of LFOs. Yeah. Ooh, inception? LFO inception. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Inception. Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. On bring his him hand in. Yeah, right I now. want that totem spinning. And then inception I... I can't take it anymore! I just want to die! Great explanation. There it is. This is essentially your dry wet of it, like as Parker was saying, is the output, right? This is the dry wet, but you can also put parameters on that dry wet, which is this is where it gets really fun, and we're going to talk about gating a little bit. But right now, we just have LFO6 controlling the rate of LFO4. So what I'm going to do is, since I have it all the way max at 100% at the top, I'm going to pull this, and I'm going to go as fast as I want it to ever go. I should be having it be going one way. So I want the bottom to be at one bar, because that's the slowest I'll want it. And then I want the top to now be what is the fastest that I'm going to want it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, uh, but th now this one doesn't matter because that's where our quarter note, our yeah, downbeat is. Delayed. So I'm going to go, uh, but da, 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 
Oh, we can do a lot of things. Yeah, dude. I like this one. And I can actually even set this. Let's set this to 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 maybe half a bar, right? Like maybe I don't need it to to go four bars. I mean, I could have a full variation here of different sort of movements yeah. and stuff. Let's just set it to half bar for now. And since I'm setting it to half bar, I can turn the grid back down to eight, which is nice. <laughs> Definitely want the movement in the very beginning. Yeah, dude. Ba -da -ba -ba -bow, okay. We'll set that to envelope too, right? We don't want to have it continue going on. Now, here's what's kind of fun when you're in envelope mode, right? Is you can start using a thing called loopback, right? And this is where it gets really interesting. That secret that you were about to drop on him. A big old nug. I just wanted to kind of re-explain too. So essentially what Danny was doing is kind of like the same thing as like Ableton macros. When you're mapping the macros, you go up to the top left and you set your maximum and then you mm -hmm. set your, your minimum. So you're kind of setting your parameters for how, how far your knob wants to go. <laughs> and how far, how below your knob? My knob doesn't go very far. <laughs> Unfortunately. Well, if you set it longer, it will. Okay, well, you know? I'll try. Yeah. So but, much yeah, I just wanted to say that. Science can do. Yeah. Genetics. <laughs> LFO Inception <laughs> is like macros in Ableton. Yeah. Same, same That's difference. A, yeah, it's a great point. It, these are, and this is essentially like automation. Yeah. We're automating with these, right? Yeah. That's a good way to understand it. So what's kind of cool is like, so you know how we have this essentially starting right here? It's not delayed, but nothing's really happening right here. What I could do is if I want to keep this pattern going, but I don't want it to restart over here, I can set where the restart happens. So I could do something like this. <laughs> That just kind of keeps going. Yeah. I could set here. I can right click and I say set loop point here, right? And essentially what's going to happen is, is once it cycles through this LFO, it's going to restart here and then just sort of loop back and forth. But it has to be on envelope mode. <laughs> Now watch this. Kill. Okay, so. Killer. I just got an idea. That's a great drop right there. So we're trying to do four bars, right? Uh -huh, but yeah. I want I want a variation here. Okay. So I want it to go. Right there. Wow. Yeah, right? I yeah, want yeah, a, I want yeah, a variation. Yeah. This is where shit gets crazy. Let's get crazy, dude. All right, so now I'm going to do a new LFO. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and take this point, and I'm going to go ahead and modulate the Y axis, the up and down axis, mm. right? Okay, and I'm going to say to use LFO. Okay, so we got to do LFO bus 1, and this is going to be used as LFO 7. Okay? Dude, I always forget to play with these, dude. Yeah, dude. Got to play with it, dude. This one's going to be LFO bus two, because you can only do one at a time. And this is also going to be LFO bus seven. Okay? Now watch this. We're going to do the same concept. We're going to turn this all the way up. Okay? Now I want this these two points to actually come down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have LFO seven go really slow. Cause I want it to happen at the very end, right? So I'm gonna set it to envelope or even trigger. Did you hear that change? Yeah, dude. But it's only gonna happen here. Right there, do you see that? Okay, so now for the sake of time, I don't want to listen to all the way cycles, so I'm just gonna have it just go, I'm gonna fuck with this one and then I'll adjust it where I want it. See how it's, it's changing that, yeah. right? I think, I think I actually have to maybe do it bipolar. So it goes back up? Yeah, so I want it to go back to, oh, interesting. <laughs> There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. So. There we go. 
see how this is slow right here? That's because this needs to be, when I'm doing bipolar, I have to have it at center, essentially, is, is where I originally had it, is at, is at 50. So yeah. I'm put this to 50. Okay. Now I also want to make sure that these are matching. So that's minus 54. Uh, let's just do minus 50. That's a round number. That feels good. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to do it. I think it's going the opposite way, Danny. Oh, yeah. You're right. I need to go up, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Got up. You know, it gets a little confusing sometimes. Yeah, dude. Not there's a lot of LFOs, things. dude. A lot of LFOs. A lot of tops. A lot of Leonardo DiCaprio. A lot of bottoms, too, baby. <laughs> All right, cool. So I want this one to be here, and I want this one to be all the way up. Cool. Sick. All right, now. That's a drop, bro. We're not done. That's a one-button drop That's right one there, button. We're dude. We're going to make it better, right? Because there's more shit that you can do, Parker. No okay. way, dude. Yes. So do you see how this kind of has this sort of cool thing that's happening with the sink, right? Yeah. Now let's say I want let's say I want to have a little variation so it's not just but 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 I'm going to start making some on off switches, okay? Again, I'm going to probably I'm probably going to do a delay on this one because I don't want it affected on that first sound. So let's go ahead and add an on off switch of here. And let's go ahead and add this to the sink. And just do an envelope. Oh, that's you know, nice. Like kind of changing it, right? Yeah. Now, for this, also for this, this sub, we have the sub kind of going. So I'm going to pull that all the way down and I'm going to add our main new, our second LFO to that sub as well. Yeah, we need that. There it is, dude. Now watch this. We're not done. We're not done, Parker. Okay? How many LFO inceptions are you going to do, not bro? Lot, dude. If you want to go ahead and get this preset that we're going to make, we're going to go ahead and put the link down in the description. If you want to get the project file for this, watch this. If you guys want to get this project file and many, many more like this, you can get all the drums, you can get all the presets, everything that we made. Make sure you guys go check out our Patreon. The link is in the description down below. If you guys go and you click that link, you can see we have tons of different tiers from feedback to our legacy YouTube tier to our VIP tier. If you guys check that out, pick which one works for you. And if you want to get this project file, you want to join the legacy tier, you can open that up and you'll see we have tons of project files for you guys all to download with all the sounds and presets in there. And of course, our VIP tier, which also includes the project files and exclusive presets and samples for you guys. So check that out and support us on Patreon if you can. We really, really appreciate all our supporters. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and, and apply this sort of same concept that's happening here with this one. But let's go ahead and use this elephant. This is supposed to be on the master tune, which we'll put it back on, but let's go ahead and use this here. And since it's delayed, let's do a delay a quarter. Okay. And let's have this go fast. And also, because I have this one controlling the rate of this one, if I set this now to the same start as this, which is a bar. So let's go ahead and set that to a bar. And now I apply uh, envel oh, sorry, LFO 6 to the rate at the same amount as what's happening to LFO 4, right? Just hang, hang with me. And I go into the matrix. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and adjust this to match the same amount of rate that LFO 6 is doing on the LFO 4, 4 rate. So... 31. Let's do 31. I have another cool tip that I want to show uh, in another video about uh, kind of messing with the course pitch. I found some cool stuff. You're going to have to wait for the next video for that Ooh. one, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go ahead and apply this on the frequency knob too as well. That cleaned it up so much. Yeah. Also too, because I'm FMing, right, I can also use this on off switch to my advantage and maybe put it on the octave. 
Now, here's what's what's also cool, right? Parker mentioned the aux source, right? So let's say I want to create a variation, right? So I have LFO8 on that octave, right? I want the second part of the drop to have that. I can set an aux source to macro one, which is now the dry wet, right? And I'm going to say so this is drop A slash B. So this octave thing is only going to happen if this knob is turned up, right? If I turn it down, we're going to hear the regular. Now we can even start, you know, we can go outside of that and start modulating that. That is some big brain shit right there, we're dude. We're super smart dudes. Yeah, man. And and where can I find more of these kind of presets, dude? Well, what's great is, like, we just taught you guys how to do that, but if you guys check out Drops Only Volume 3, the link is in the description. There's tons of presets like this to give you ideas to start writing better drops now. It's going to mm -hmm. help you. The whole reason we designed this pack is, one, so you don't have to cycle through a bunch of bullshit sounds trying to find the perfect sounds. All of these sounds are drop ready. They're very, very, very good. This is the most intense we've ever gone into any sort of drops only. Yep. We've been getting better as sound designers, so we've really, really put a lot of effort into this one, trying to make it better and better. But it's definitely really, really cool, and it will just help you get started, and they're easy to manipulate, too. That's the big thing. They're huge. They have variations. They have macros for you to turn around. Last thing I want to do before we close out the video is I want to put uh, maybe an envelope because I ran out of LFOs <laughs> on the master tune. I want to get like a little hit in there see if we can get a little punch oh it's envelope one i want to do envelope two nice and you could play with pitch too that's the other thing if i had more elbows i'd show you but you could play with with the pitch a little bit more like yeah oh look i ran out of macros again i'm out dude i guess i could take off this tone thing but yeah let me take this one off now i got one macro space okay so like an example could be like remember how we have that one sort of thing kind of happening right here yeah right i can use that to also adjust the pitch as well right so i could say all right so if i want this to happen on the pitch right i could just have say uh, LFO7 is going to, and this is how you can get into sort of arpeggiating, is going to adjust uh, the master tune, right? Got to make it bipolar. See how I got a little change there? That's how you make arps, dude. Yeah. All right, let's play this out, Parks. We got a little drop here, dude. Let's do it. Thank you guys for watching. Drops Only, Volume 3 is available now. Go grab it. Yep. Press what, that one button. One make button, a sick-ass drop. And don't tell your friends. Don't tell your friends. It's a secret. Because then you'll get into an argument like me and him. Yeah. And see which one's better. Let us know down in the comments. You could win a copy of Drops Only, Volume 3. We'll see you guys next week for the podcast episode. Ooh. And another surprise video. More surprises. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> watting. That's it. That's Goodbye. It. <laughs>